I caught a pike. No, it's a muskie. It's a muskie. Guys, it's a mu I caught a muskie. Today, we're exploring some new waters around the DMV area. And today, we're highlighting Little Pool. I have never been here before. Um, it's, it's a really kind of small little pond slash lake that was created by the old CNO canal system. There's two of them. There's Big Pool and Little Pool. Little Pool I found on a map and we're going to explore today. And I don't know if you can tell guys, it is beautiful around here. So let's try to explore this place today. Uh, let's see what we can catch. Everything that I use today will be in the item description in the video, along with directions on how to get here. So this is going to be fun. It is absolutely clear water. You ever, you ever go to a place and you're like, you know what? It's just fishy. Got one. First cast. Oh my gosh, first cast, guys. With the fluke. Hello, baby. Guys, I didn't even like paddle far. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at him. Mm. This is going to be fun. Oh my gosh. Ah, that was the first cast. And this, this is really small, like I was saying before. Um, it's not really big and it's, it's public water. You know, something I'm big with this channel is public water. Everywhere I'm fishing, I want it to be a place anyone can go. Not that I, I somehow stumbled upon a private lake or something like that. This is, I want to be able to really highlight areas that anyone can fish, whether you have a bass boat, kayak, you're, you're fishing from shore. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stay right here on this edge and just cast. See, I don't know if you can tell, there's a grass edge. There's definitely an edge. Got him. Got him. Number two. Keep him with a jerk bait. So every time I see a bluegill pop, we're getting bit. It ain't bad. It's a little guy. I think there are bigger ones in here. This is what my gut says. I just think they're they're off on this edge. So we gotta figure out a way to fish this edge more efficiently. So yeah, that one came right in that grass. There's a little grass mat right there. That's kind of where he came off of. And that was like my third cast too. I had to really get him to react to that thing. Got one. There he is. Bigger one. Yep. Swim jig. Oh, no, same size. Same size. Oh, there he is. Oh, look what he hit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. Swim jig. Outside grass edge. So I might actually have to change to a heavier one. But I was just working this. I don't know if you guys can tell with the uh, with the light, but there's actually a big grass edge here. And I was fishing on top of it, and I was catching some litter ones. I was like, you know what? Why don't we just switch it up and cast out, you know, right down the gut of this line. So now let's try that again. That was fun. Oh my god, he clocked it too. I mean, they're hitting this. Got him. Got another one. Guys, I got another one. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got another one. Oh, I don't know how big he is. He's coming right to me. Oh my god. Oh my God, this is Little Pool, Maryland. Oh, oh, get in here. Oh, about the same size. Oh my goodness. Guys, that was my second cast in there. Oh, gosh, I love, God, I love grass fishing so much. This is why you love it. You find that area. Oh my goodness. Oh, my forearm's gonna get tired. Oh my God. Oh, this is any bigger. There he is. Oh my God. Get in the boat. Get a little bit bigger, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, guys, I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> oh, can you see that? Guys, they are choking it. Oh my goodness, that one's nicer. Get back in there, guys. So what I'm fishing here, guys, this is a dirty jig swim jig. Uh, you can also have the Strike King version. If you had to pick one jig and you're going to deal with a lot of grass, I, I would generally think go with a uh, swim jig style 
or that Arkeen style head, one of those two. What's nice about this is I can still pitch and flip docks with this. I can pitch into grass clumps with this jig. And all you do, this is what I prefer to do, and some people um, that I really respect just, just slowly reel it. I like to keep the rod tip at an angle, and I'm, you see me that I'm bouncing my rod tip, but all I'm doing is I'm bouncing the line. And I usually throw my swim jigs on a, um, I use it on a heavy rod with an extra fast tip. Because I, I just want the backbone when I, when, I, when I lean into them, I got them. Because you'll catch big ones doing this. And specifically for me, you probably could get away with a medium heavy rod, but I also will, you know, flip and pitch this, this thing. Whether it's with a swim jig style head or an arcing style head. That's the thing with grass fishing. I know a lot of a lot of younger anglers get really overwhelmed by grass, but it once you figure it out and it takes time and it's not even just figuring it out, it's just getting confidence with it. Um, you can have some of the best days of your life on there because you can a small area of grass just will hold more life bar none compared to any other type of cover that a fish can get into. Hold the memory where we had those bites beforehand, so we not only can we duplicate, but we can go right back there and try it again. So that's the one. Got one. I don't have a good hook again. There he is. Again, right on that grass edge, guys. Mm. Mm. Ooh, isn't that fun? Oh my goodness, that's so much fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at him. He's like, I like it, that dirty jig. I like it a lot. That was fun. Mm, so pro tip, and we're probably gonna make a video about this too. This is just the boring old power worm. You can also use a speed worm. This is one of my favorite techniques. Now the difference is here, what I do, is I dye the tails. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I dye the tails that way. You guys don't think, well, I can't catch anything. I can't use a bait caster. Guys, you just use something like this. You will be shocked at what you can catch. And you might actually catch the biggest fish of your lifetime too. And with this technique here, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna slowly reel it back. You treat it basically like a little swim bait. It, it's so stupid basic, but people just don't like to do it. And I really feel like the reason is we just get so, as human beings, we like to make things complex. We really do. And that's the same thing with like throwing just a worm. It's so easy. And as a kid, we, we fish it and we wreck them. And then we get older, we read some magazines, we watch some TV shows, watch a YouTube channel like this. And we're like, well, now I'm like, I'm sophisticated now. I know something that, that no one else does. And there's a time in that and that's cool, but sometimes you just gotta keep that simplicity there. It's easy to make things complicated. It's hard to make things simple and work. Come on, we just need one big one. Let's get one big one on the scales here. Show off this place. Like that, that's a big one. Oh my God. Guys, this is it. This is, oh my God, oh my God, guys. Guys, guys, oh my God, oh my God. Don't you come off. Where are you? I caught a pike. No, it's a muskie. It's a muskie. Guys, it's a mu I caught a muskie. Oh my God, there's a, oh my God. I gotta catch, I gotta land you, I gotta land you. How the heck did you, this guy be a muskie. Is he that or a pickerel? Or, 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 oh my God. <clears throat> Teeth. He's got teeth. He's got teeth. How do you do this? How do you do this in a kayak? Oh. Oh my God! <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think it's a it's a baby musky or it's a pickerel. Could it be a pickerel, guys? Oh my God. Whew. Got him. There we go, guys. Oh. Oh. Right there. He's waterboard. We're waterboarding you in a boat. Oh, he's like one of the bigger ones we've caught, too. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, I just saw another bass, like, right freaking here next to the boat. But uh, link to where I am and the baits I use in the episode description. In the description. 
Um, please, if you like this, comment. If you hate me, comment. If you think I'm ugly, comment. I don't care. But let me know what you're thinking. Have a beautiful day, and God bless. Hopefully, I'll see you out in the water.